So the last time they were sharpened was July 11th, a week ago. So let's see how the minimalist setup can bring back the edge. Small natural stone, blue stone, Aotoish, and Shapton 6000 for Uraoshi, and newspaper for Strop. That's all I'm going to use. So first, let's check the edge condition before sharpening or rather touch up. Sugimoto 25-24 Minamoto Akitada Mizuno Tanrenjo They are about the same. Start with Yanagiba. Sugimoto 
And then I do Uraoshi. But I was finished. Mari Carter's three finger test. Mizuno Tanrenjo, Minamoto Akitada, after quick touch up.
なんで杉本スライサー So as you can see to get this level of cutting performance you don't need anything fancy I just used twenty dollars natural stone small piece Chapton 6000 for Uraoshi and newspaper for strop stropping that's it so this is a quick follow-up video of the last one how to use small natural stone 22 dollars most of you can probably afford how to use it and what kind of result you can get as you can probably predict that's pretty good it doesn't take that much time to do the maintenance sharpening and you really don't need a lot of gears you know don't overspend everything nicely fits into a standard ammo can and in this video I only used this Aotoish blue stone and Shapton 6000 for Uraoshi that's it oh and the newspaper strop so really that's all you need they don't have to be this particular stones brand like Mari Kata used to do you can do it with King 1000 and 6000 or what I used to do Shapton 1000 and Kitayama 8000 I still use it and plenty of life is still left so really you basically need only these two around 1000 and somewhere between 6000 and 8000 or even 3000 would work the only thing is you need one dedicated stone for Uraoshi someone asked me once in the comment if it's okay to use one side for bevel sharpening and the other side for Uraoshi sharpening and I said yes you know just mark on one side and never ever use this side for anything other than Uraoshi and you still have to flatten it every once in a while but in the beginning when the budget is tight you can't buy a bunch of stones and knives at the same time it will work so stop watching YouTube videos and wondering oh I need to buy this I need to buy that no you don't and even leather strop I would say at this point it's a kind of waste of money not a hundred percent wasted but no you really don't need it it doesn't make your knife any sharper than newspaper strop it doesn't make your edge any more aggressive than the newspaper strop the reason I said you don't need any more than two stones and newspaper is because with those minimalist setup I can get this result really that's all you need and spend that money on somewhere else and this is shot quickly and most probably I will edit in a really simple way so that's it for this video see you in the next video by the way it's not related to the contents of this video but I am testing these gators spectre this is actually the same one as you can see in Jack Carr's website it just this is the standard one so it doesn't have his you know cross axe mark and his signature but Jack Carr special edition is like 300 bucks this is 230 and the main difference for me is this is 
uh, OPC lenses, digitally optimized polarized lenses. And in the last 10 years or so, maybe even more, I have never worn polarized. I've always been the guy who said, I don't need polarized lenses. And all I have been wearing was ballistic gray lenses. Liquid eyewear, gasket, Gators Magnum, and Oakley SI M frame 3.0. And this actually has been working pretty good. I can see the camera screen and uh, EVF, no problem. And uh, yeah, that's been great. <laughs>